Hello, this is John from WHMCS. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to install and integrate the live chat as on code with your WHMCS installation and website. Once the add-on has been purchased, you may download the files via our client area by navigating to Services, Licenses and Services. The first step is to upload the add-on to your server, so connect using your preferred FTP client and upload the live chat zip file. In this example, we're using a cPanel server, so open File Manager, right-click the live chat file and extract the files from the zip. Then copy the contents of the upload underscore me directory into your WHMCS directory. Now we install the live chat add-on in a simple two-step install wizard. Visit the installation script in the modules slash live help slash install directory. Read through the EULA and accept it. And then simply click install. And that's it. The add-on is installed. But before we can get started, there are some important steps to complete first. First, for security, delete the modules slash live help slash install directory. Second, let's download and configure the Windows app. The download link can be found on the live chat add-on page in our documentation at docs.whmcs.com. Simply follow through the installation wizard as with any Windows program. Now the app is installed, we enter your server details. In the server field, enter the URL of the modules directory of your WHMCS installation. Then, in the Username and Password fields, enter your regular username and password for the main WHMCS admin area. This is the Home tab, which shows a quick overview of everything. When visitors visit your website, they will appear here, and we'll see that later. Now let's visit your WHMCS installation. You'll see in the corner of the screen, a live chat pop-up is now displayed that clients can use to view you. And here, the app has notified us a visitor is now browsing our website. Now I'll show you how to add the live chat code to your custom WHMCS template. If you're using one of the stock templates, this section can be skipped as the code's present already. Begin by opening the header.tpl file of your custom template. The live help JS tag should be present already. If not, add it before the closing head tag. This is used to track the visitors on your website. We can also add a button to invoke the chat window. To achieve this, simply add the live help tag to the place in which you wish the button to appear as shown here. We save the file and upload it and that's all there is to it. Now we'll show you how to add the visitor tracking code to a page that is not part of WHMCS. Here I'm editing a basic index.html page. Before the closing head tag, copy and paste the step one code which can be found from the live chat add-on page in our documentation. Change the live help settings .server value to the path of your WHMCS installation's module directory. If you've installed WHMCS in a directory with a different name such as clients, then you would just need to adjust the path and the URL as shown here. Now let's add the button code. Just copy and paste the step 2 code from our documentation and paste it wherever you want the button to appear. Now just save the file and upload it. If we visit the page you'll see the live chat button is now displayed and clicking it opens the live chat window in the bottom right corner. So if we sign out from the Windows app 
and refresh the page, you'll notice that the button has now changed to display an offline status and clicking it displays the offline contact form. And you're done. The live chat add-on is now installed and ready to use on WHMCS and your own website. Thanks for watching.